Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about popcorn. Popcorn is a favorite snack for a lot of you guys and I know you're wondering if it is a good snack for people with diabetes or people who are trying to lose weight. So let's get started. Hi guys, I'm a diabetes doctor, I'm an endocrinologist and a diabetes coach. So today we are talking about popcorn. Now popcorn is something that a lot of people crave and I will tell you nutritional information and you decide if it is good for you or not. It is definitely not a carb free snack. It has carbs in it. Now, popcorn definitely can be a good snack or a bad snack. So I will explain to you what makes it a good snack and what makes it a bad snack. So number one thing you need to avoid with popcorn is butter and hydrogenated oils. So when you're buying popcorn, you have to be really careful about what you're getting and how much fat you are getting in there. So normally popcorn doesn't really have fat unless you add on fat. And remember, a combination of fat, especially butter and hydrogenated oils with carbohydrates is not a good combination. It's going to just multiply the effects of blood sugar spike as a result insulin spike. And that's definitely not a good combination for either weight loss or, or, or diabetes. So now air popped popcorn is the best way to do it. Uh, you can drizzle some olive oil uh, to make it a little bit tastier instead of butter. But definitely it's something that you have to pay attention to the portion size. So three cups of air pop popcorn will have around 15 grams of carbs. So as you can see, the glycemic index is around 55, which is not super high. And it's not super low either. But the glycemic load is not that high because, again, uh, it's not uh, a dense food. Uh, it is air popped. So it's, uh, so it's actually when you do three cups of uh, the air popped uh, popcorn, this can satisfy you uh, if you are controlling yourself. And that's only 15 grams of carbs. But on the other hand, uh, most people rarely measure their popcorns and they end up grabbing the whole bag uh, which can be 30 cups of uh, popcorn so if that's you i don't think that's going to be a great snack for you uh, but if you can say hey i'm just going to have three four cups of uh, popcorn and that's all i'm not going to have any more that can be a delicious snack without rising your blood sugar too much so if you guys uh, let me know what you think uh, give a thumbs up share this video and give a like and we would like to hear from you We'll see you in the next video. All right, thank you for watching, and I want you to be more informed and more educated. So to do that, go ahead and watch this next video right here.